Hi, I'm Tracy Morris, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your photo to the Rambler Online Card Office. To get to the Online Card Office, you'll first navigate to the Rambler webpage, which can be reached from the main Shepherd webpage under Current Students and Rambler Card. You'll be redirected to the Rambler webpage where you'll find all sorts of cool information, including a video created by a Shepherd student telling you all things Rambler. But for today, we're going to focus on how to upload your photo. Select that, and you'll be redirected to the Online Card Office page, where you will say, once again, you wish to upload your photo. It will take you to the login page, where if you have an account already, your username is your nine-digit Shepherd ID, and you can just go ahead and log in. But since you're watching this video, I'm assuming you don't. So you'll select, I'm new here, create an account, and a new window will pop up. Pop-up being your clue that if you're on a browser, there you have a pop-up blocker extension, make sure to turn that off so you can go ahead and get this far and enter your nine digit Shepherd ID. As I said, that's always your username and the email address that you wish to use to receive your initial password and any future password resets. Mine is tmorris at shepherd.edu. You can reach that, use that to reach me if you have any questions. Um, yours, if you are a student, will be rams.shepherd.edu. So uh, go ahead and select that. Tell it you're not a robot, select next, and it will send a password to the email address that you provided. I'm going to pause the recording, go get my password, and come back to the login page. All right, I'm back and I am pasting the password that, that was found in that email. It's one of those complicated passwords, so I saved it and copied it and pasted it. And I can change that once I get to the online card office if I wish to. Um, there will be a whole host of things you can do. It'll show me on the left side of the page, deposit money into your card, um, look at your balances, do all sorts of things. Before you can do anything, you'll need to agree to the terms and conditions. Most important one to you as a um, new card holder is that there's a $25 fee to replace your card if you lose it. So keep good track of it. Um, again, you would, you know, we, we clicked upload your photo, so it took us to this page, but over here is where you would change your password to something you can remember. The first thing you're going to do when you get to the online card office to upload your photo is upload your proof of identity. So you'll take a picture of a government issue photo ID, like a driver's license, and upload that photo. So I'm going to go ahead and just select a file from someplace on my computer. Um, I will not choose my, uh, my driver's license because I'm not Quite so dumb as to go ahead and put all my personal information on a web page, but I'll just select one and upload that photo. And it will take me to the next page where I'll upload my Rambler photo, the one I want to use myself. Lots of restrictions on there that you'll see. Um, important ones, make it a nice clear background that's plain so we can see your face. Um, you know, full frontal face without any filters on it. And make sure that you leave a little bit of space around your head so I can crop the photo like my software requires me to. About how much there is in my picture in the screen is great. So maybe mid chest to six inches above the head so that when I crop it, you get a nice picture. But give me a picture like this. When I crop it, it looks like that. So go ahead and send me um, that picture. And you'll go ahead and put in the email that you want to get information about the photo upload process, select your role, what are you, how you want to get your card, it will give you multiple choices. Um, you'll upload here, you'll choose the file that you wish to upload, and you will get an email back after it has been uploaded saying it has been received. I will review the picture and either reject, who would reject that, or approve the image for you. Um, so hopefully, you will be an approved image, one that meets all the criteria, and not a rejected one. Who would reject that face? Uh, especially because we know they're all good dogs, right? If you have any questions, contact me at tmorris at shepherd.edu, and thanks for watching.